can just posting certain pictures on a big board and watching it every day help you manifest your dreams let's find out Hello beautiful people welcome back to my channel i am lovely and this is the lovely life i know it's been long uh i'm back here after a really long gap i know that i was just being mommy you know playing mommy with my little one who just turned 1 year old this november and she's super active and extremely intelligent so she keeps me on my toes so anyway i've been missing you guys a lot i miss my youtube community So I'm here back again with another awesome video. In case you're tuning in for the first time, I am lovely. I am a psychic medium and a light language healer. This YouTube channel of mine is everything that I've learned in my personal spiritual journey. We discuss law of attraction, everything spiritual so that I can help you become the best version of yourself. And today I'm really excited because I am doing a law of attraction video law of attraction has been very close to my heart since i was a child i didn't know i was actually practicing it i've always been a master manifester which uh unfortunately applies even to your fears you know even to your negative uh focus negative thoughts but anyway i realized that i can manifest stuff i can make my dreams come true So today we will be exactly discussing about one of the tools of law of attraction one of the tools that would help you manifest your dreams what is it vision boards you know by the title so maybe you've heard about it or maybe you haven't in case you haven't vision boards are simply boards which have pictures posted on them or clipped onto them which basically portray all your dreams out there So today we will be discussing everything vision board how exactly it helps people manifest their dreams and I would also be sharing my personal vision board which came true which I had made a few years back and I will be going uh, I have it right here and I will be going through each picture in there and I would explain how exactly I manifested it so that it would help you when you are making one for yourself Also do watch this video till the end because I will be giving you a step by step guide to help you make a vision board for yourself which exactly works. So a vision board basically helps you manifest your dreams in various ways. Number 1, it helps you visualize by in fact seeing it in front of you what you want to manifest. Number 2 it helps you give some clarity on what actually your dreams are because you know we humans we keep changing our minds so when we are actually out there trying to you know pick uh, pictures from the internet or from magazines or books or stuff we try to make a list of the things we actually want and also coming to the third thing that you know the way it helps is similar to giving us clarity it helps us prioritize our dreams up you know prioritize what we actually want in life what we actually want in the coming few years or maybe maybe in the in, in that particular year or in the coming months so it's time i share my personal vision board which i had made a few years back which has come true let me show you here it is so as you can see there are numerous pictures out here and uh, let me just go through you know at least a few of them and uh let me explain how I actually manifested okay so here you can see me with my husband so when i had made this vision board he was actually working in dubai and we were you know having an almost like a long distance relationship and i was seriously struggling i was really lonely and i had a daughter to take care of and i was working so yes 
anyway he came back to me he decided to you know work here in india instead when everything was actually planned that we would be going with our family but eventually he came back he got a better job here so next going to uh yeah the beautiful boy there that's eric my spirit guide he's a he was 20 years old when he took his life anyway but that uh, that was just the beginning of this this you know major awakening that he brought in a lot of people's lives his mom uh, started a blog called channeling eric uh, which i got in touch with and that was just beginning of my uh, i i can say awakening spiritual awakening and why I have his picture out there because uh, when I did I didn't know that I could actually channel him now I do and he's part of my trustworthy spirit team so that's beautiful Eric right here uh, what else you can see the Buddha when I pasted it I have always loved Buddha statues Buddha paintings I wanted to paint uh, uh, Buddha myself someday which I have done recently but that time I didn't didn't have any of those and a uh, few years few years later actually maybe a year or two later when I actually noticed one day on my visual board I realized that I have three Buddha statues which I had bought after I had made this vision board and there's much more ah yeah a girl with a long hair I know I don't have so long but uh you know because I gave birth the second time and there was postpartum hair loss and all but I would still say my hair has been uh, very healthy uh, now even after having so such a traumatic childbirth and you know losing so much blood in the surgery and my recovery was slow but still I would I would say I have my hair back so maybe thanks to that picture so yeah what else uh you can if you can see i don't know if you can see i'm like constantly moving it i'm sorry if that's bothering you so if you can see this beautiful belly which actually signifies uh my dream of learning uh, how to do belly dance and you would not believe i learned the basic belly dance uh, uh i did that course when i was actually pregnant i was seven months pregnant with my baby and that was an amazing experience and I had a specific teacher in my mind the beautiful Meher Malik she is one of the best teachers in India so yeah I did that okay there's one very interesting thing I would try to post uh, a picture somewhere here so this yoga pose this is a yoga pose that I've always been wanting to try this needs a lot of flexibility you know it, it's a deep uh, hip opener uh, which which needs a lot of practice it, it is definitely time bound flexibility is time bound in yoga but I wanted to the, do this for a really long time so I would and I did that and I took a picture again another yoga posture which I could do which I didn't do when I posted this picture uh, what else what else oh yeah tiny things which I manifested or big or big my laptop when I had made this vision board I was using my husband's laptop even for editing YouTube uh, videos so I was only using that and uh, it was annoying you know because I would have you know how it's it's almost like listening to another one's uh, another person's playlist so I've been I've always wanted to you know save some money that I could have my own I could own my laptop and I did uh, after maybe a year of making this vision board I bought my laptop and I got my guitar uh, I actually want to learn so that's the uh, that's basically the dream behind posting a picture of a guitar but I own one now I have a basic uh, acoustic guitar now which I got on my birthday from my husband I still have to learn it which I'll do I know what else uh, okay so regarding these beautiful red pumps you know high heels 
when I'll be explaining how exactly to make a vision board, I would also touch on uh, how to choose the pictures. Because if you see, uh, I do not wear such long heels. Uh, I've never learned how to be comfortable in those. But this actually, this picture uh, means I loved uh, buying uh, such shoes, you know, beautiful heels. So after I've made, I made this vision board, I actually ended up, during that particular year, I ended up buying many um, beautiful, similar looking shoes. So yeah, similarly, the dress that you can see here, so I did not actually want a blue dress, but uh, for me, what this uh, picture meant was I wanted to buy a certain kind of, you know, knee length dresses. I've uh, you know, I'm, I'm an Indian and uh, I'm from a conservative middle class family. So it's it's like in very recent years that I've started being comfortable in those dresses. Uh, thanks to my conditioning. But anyway, after posting this picture, I ended up buying many beautiful knee length dresses, you know, casual and formal and party wear and stuff like that and again there is uh yeah at the bottom you can see these women are dancing they're actually doing zumba and i actually had my zumba classes going on which i had to stop when i got pregnant but i did manifest that dream too so that was my beautiful vision board which i manifested and trust me it uh it was a beautiful journey and actually there was a point when i had uh, I had actually forgotten that I have even posted these pictures in there. And uh, uh, also you can, you can see uh, a girl meditating there and you can, you might have noticed uh, words posted in there which says peace. So I did do a lot of meditation. I got so deep into meditation after I made this. But again, I know there's a very major part in manifesting all these pictures that you post in a vision board, on a vision board, that you have to take action. So now that you know that vision boards do come true, why not make one for yourself? Here I go with all the steps to how to make a vision board and what are uh, the things that you, you should keep in mind before making one. Step number one, get all the stuff that you would need to make one, which includes scissors if you're actually cutting pictures, uh, from the magazines you would definitely need magazines or maybe a laptop or your phone to download pictures and get them printed later on also for the board you can buy uh, maybe a thermocol sheet or a thick cardboard sheet or nowadays people even make uh, these clip on uh, vision boards which they actually clip onto a metal it's almost like a net it's almost you know it's a it's a rectangular shaped net which they actually keep somewhere and they clip on so they they can use it every year they just have to change the pictures but i do prefer pasting it step number two find out every magazine that you have in your space because you know you need pictures or you can choose the easy way which i prefer i google stuff and i go through all the pictures i just you know type in what i need what i want what are my dreams and then go through all the pictures and also i believe uh, when we uh, download pictures that's uh, an easier way sorry if i'm actually promoting copyright infringement that's not my intention but yeah you can maybe go ahead and try looking for the free pictures out there anyway so you can download those pictures and then get them printed. That's what I do. It gives you a better choice. A very important thing while you're choosing your picture, be very specific. Uh, in case you're looking, you know, at a vacation picture, maybe, you know, from Maldives, maybe from Australia or Switzerland, be very specific. See, look deep into the picture and see what is in there that is calling you. Maybe the snow, maybe the roads, maybe the beauty of the place and try to find something that resonates truly with you. Step number three, start pasting your pictures. 
there's no prescribed order that you have to paste a certain picture on top or on the bottom you can just go by your instinct i generally try to keep uh, you know my family pictures or something which is very close to my heart on top and uh, something maybe which is okay uh, if I take some time to manifest on the bottom but you know I do have the new uh, vision board that I've made it has a lot of pictures which I would be sharing when I end up manifesting all of that one day uh, in another video but anyway so there's no prescribed order you can just go by what feels right step number four this could actually be, uh, you know, combined step number three, uh, but this is a very important step. Have gratitude. So what can you do? You can maybe write something that resonates gratitude. If you have noticed on my uh, vision board, let me just show you. Yes, here you can see on top I've written, thank you universe because I'm telling universe that because I've already believe I'm already believing that these things are going to come to me one day and I'm patient enough and I'm very thankful for to the universe for helping me manifest this and you know how law of attraction work you have to be you have to have gratitude and it is almost uh, it doesn't know time and space so yeah, it's in present tense. So you are already thanking the universe for doing something in future. Step number five. Once you are done, keep this board, this vision board of yours uh, somewhere in your space, in your room or in your house where you see it often. Maybe every night as you go to bed, you can place it in front of uh, you, you know, wherever your bed is. Maybe if you have a wardrobe in front of it, you can keep it inside or on top wherever you can see it every day because basically it's a visualization tool so you're supposed to see these pictures while you're working while you're working out while you're going by your day you're supposed to see the vision board often the weird and interesting i would say the weird and interesting thing about vision boards is that you you actually keep it somewhere you often see it but after a while it blends into your reality in a weird way and you stop actually noticing it but you know it's out there it's almost like you know subliminal messages so that's how you manifest it that brings us to our last step which is a combination of two steps one letting go two taking action mm does it go hand in hand yes it does letting go means not constantly being worried whether you would manifest it or not but taking action means something doing something tangible so if you have a travel destination a picture posted onto your vision board so obviously you have to slowly make your you know your plans in your mind in your head and start saving so that's called taking action things work and trust me universe would send you opportunities but it cannot take action for you so keep your eyes open so that brings us to the end of this video i tried to keep it as short as possible i'm sorry if i have talked too much about vision boards but trust me they need enough time to talk about so enjoy making your personal vision board and manifesting your dreams and do let me know in the comments how did you make one or if you have you know already made one one for yourself and if you have actually uh, a vision board that has come true so if you liked everything that we discussed in here today do press the like button and in case you haven't subscribed already please consider doing that. Happy manifesting. Bye-bye.